it's really different vibe from the 35 way different vibe the separation is ridiculous on that camera fall uh, well, fall people who do very simple portraits but do them really well so i went into portraits and that was a rough transition to be honest i got like so many no's mm -hmm. like no responses you know and then i started oh let's start shooting my friends Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the K Digital Podcast. Joining me today is Pete Wynn. How are you doing today, Pete? Hi, I'm doing all right. How about you? Doing well, doing well, man. Um, Pete is a photographer based here in Orange County. Um, but that said, Pete, once let yourself define yourself. You know, are you are you a lifestyle photographer? Are you a fashion photographer, a portrait photographer? Like what? Um, how do you, wh where do you fall in? I, uh, I don't really know myself. Self. I like to delve into a lot of different styles. Mm -hmm. um, I shoot. I shoot with a lot of. I a lot of people coin them as influencers, mm -hmm. but they, uh, they're mainly my friends now. So I just shoot with them all the time. <laughs> uh, and I do delve into. I'm trying to go into more fashion right now. Yeah. Um, not high end fashion because I don't know the the lighting setups and stuff like that. But um, mm -hmm. simple fashion. Mm -hmm. And I've been hitting up like maybe uh, sign models. I get a lot of no's, obviously. Um, but you know, it, whoever says yes, I'm a very thankful for those. Yeah. Um, I like, I like a lot of moody stuff, like a lot of, uh, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but, uh, I don't know, not like straight on portrait, but more like it, it makes you think about the portrait, I guess. I don't know. My style is trying, I'm trying to get there, but it's still not, it's not, it's not there. Yet. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I can see that. Cause I mean, like a lot of your shots, cause I mean, like, I think there's maybe it's the, the path of every like portrait photographer in some way where people like to shoot people where like you have very straight on stuff and eventually you start to, I won't put story into this. I won't put like an angle into it. Right? Yeah. Like there's one yeah, you yeah. shot with, um, I think Jessica, Jessica Lynn, um, we're turning yeah. bikini, but it's like, instead of a front shot, it's stick step back. You have like the ocean in the background, like it's a whole yeah, scene. Yeah. It's like, Damn, yeah, dog, that's cool. No yeah. one's doing that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I tend to like more like incorporating the environment into the actual shot. So if the environment's pretty cool. Then I mean, you want to go in the vault, right? Instead of just having a straight on portrait, um, which if you rent a place, it doesn't really um, utilize the place. If, mm. if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Like uh, my shot with uh, Jonna, for example. I really liked the place. It was really well decorated for the, the person and I had to utilize it because it was just so, such a nice place. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that's one example. And then the next one is probably the one I just posted with, uh, uh, with Hana. I really like those portraits a lot. Um, yeah, it's just very simple, but yeah. <laughs> so how do you, so the big part of the cages podcast, right? It's like yeah. the artists, their process, origin, their style and all that. So like yeah, yeah. for the shot with Hannah, right? Which people can go look up on your Instagram. Um, yeah. So do you go into the shoot like knowing exactly this is the the, the move what's gonna look like, or we're just gonna show up to a location and I'll just kind of figure it out as I'm um, there? Uh, I used to just go in and try to wing the shot, the wing the shots, and that's not a very good plan. That's a, <laughs> actually a horrible plan. Uh, like the first year of just starting like going to places and studios and stuff like I was winging everything and that was it was a horrible idea um we didn't plan the lighting at all we uh, I did it with groups mainly uh we didn't plan the lighting so we went at bad lighting situations and it mm -hmm. the pictures were terrible well I think they're terrible <laughs> like, yeah uh, the bottles thought they were fine but uh I I I looked at the place I asked the host uh, he's actually a really good photographer um and he, he told me that uh there's light all day so I'm like I will utilize that direct light somehow and uh i think i planned it an hour too late but uh, i think still got some good shots out of mm -hmm. it so yeah mm -hmm. i knew exactly what i was going to get uh going in like this is the portrait i have to get uh, at this place so i did mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so how long did it take you to like get into that like cause you said like before you would just kind of wing it when did it start yeah. to occur to you like okay this is probably not the best process let me um i think it, um, it actually 2020 actually oh uh, okay yeah it was, it was very interesting 2020 uh kind of made me more realize the, using light a little bit better um uh 2019 was just winging everything like my 
I think my friends were group shootings all the time and I was just going with it and uh it just was not a good idea <laughs> so but I wasted a ton of money it was it was it was a great experience right but yeah. like uh Hanging with friends, just doing a ton of shoots, but like 2020 really opened my eyes a little bit more while using actual lights in different ways. Mm -hmm. For sure. So, I mean, like, is there, I guess it's going back to the same style. So like one thing, like I, I just got my own lights, right? And I have like one mm -hmm. LED light that I kind of like, uh -huh. try to use for like side lighting people. But yeah, yeah. do you see yourself falling into like, oh, I like this specific setup all the time? Or like, you're like, oh, I'm trying to show up with one light or two lights or flash and then all that. Um, I think I'm dwelling into multiple types of lighting setups. I okay. just got my first flash actually, my uh, my strobe anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to use that tomorrow, oh, Saturday um, for uh, outdoor shoots. And then I'm hopefully getting another light or uh, what's it called? A constant light, like an app. For sure, I think that's called called it. But um, the side light, someone like you just said, side light or backlit, or uh, setting up my own studio in here, which I don't think it's gonna be for a while. But um, mm. yeah, just it's totally different lighting setups, just to create a better mood about the image, and uh, just like uh, uh, lighting up the, the subject just a little bit, just to give like a little, you know, depth or yeah. something. If that makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, no, I get it. Cause like you mentioned earlier, like just like I I have your Instagram, I pulled up my monitor and it's just like, yeah, I do like all uh -huh. your stuff. Like it's it's always simple, right? There's a lot going on, but like yeah. the shot feels like it it's just the story is simple, which is dope. Um so I mean to the kind of hard left piggyback on that is like how did you even get into photography in the first place? Cause you have to develop this style. So how did you start? Um, so I got into, I got my first camera in 2017, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think November 2017. Mm -hmm. So, um, I got that mainly for food actually. Um, uh, my friend, I think one of my friends like urged me on just to do photography or just get a camera. Uh, cause I was just using my phone. I was kept on upgrading my phone to take pictures of food, which is really okay. stupid. <laughs> Because <laughs> the cameras got better, and it, it, uh, you know the prices of cameras are you know I mean yeah. uh, phones are ridiculous. But um, yeah. yeah, so I finally got my camera with the A6300. Um, it was a great camera. I still have it. Um, I did like landscapes for six months. So I did so like 2018. I did some landscapes, and then I figured out it was not a great plan to do landscapes because I don't have a lot of vacation or anything. So like I think and I have to drive far, right? So. Um, to get locations and um so i went into portraits and that was a rough transition to be honest um i got like so many no's mm -hmm. like no responses you know and then i started oh let's start shooting my friends so my first portrait was with my uh, friend Kristen. it was at a beach it was horrible <laughs> it was a fun time though <laughs> but uh it was, it, was a, it was a fun time but like and the total planning was terrible um uh, I still have those shots somewhere, um, or she has it on her page. But um, yeah, I started with that, and then I just started trickling, asking people on Model Mayhem. Mm -hmm. um, that was my first thing, and then I stopped doing that, and I just started like cold deeming Instagram people and mm -hmm. hoping for the best because mm -hmm. uh, I had some portrait work, right? So you had to show some work yeah. in order to even uh, start. So uh, I got some work out, and they they said eventually said yes, and they started building from there. Mm -hmm. that's cool man and then fast forward 2021 now you're like you mentioned the, the influencer photographer um uh -huh. so what what i mean is is there a difference in your eyes like it's just you're just shooting portraits but people uh, do classify you as like the influencer photographer uh I don't, I don't think they do it's just that they know i shoot with a lot mm -hmm. i have i guess uh, i don't know if, i don't know if it's the right to say this but i shoot with a lot of people in socal um from photographers I know they want to shoot with them, but they're like mainly um, influencers, as you'd say. Like yeah. they, they, they they have Revolve, a company Revolve, Fashion Nova maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. What else is there? I don't know, I don't know what else is there. <laughs> but yeah. uh, I just shoot it and I just like, all right, here you go. And then they, they tag their whatever. But they're like, uh, Cicela is one of them. Uh, I shoot with her all the time, she's great. Mm -hmm. uh, Vicky Chen, you know, some some names. And then mm -hmm. Sandy Cheeks, I think I shot with her a couple times. So. Very cool. Yeah. 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 yeah that, she's actually someone I'm trying to work with too. Uh, Sandy. Uh, Sandy it, Cheeks? Okay. Yeah. It's, it's cool because like, like I mentioned, I was from like San Jose and like trying to work people up there. And same thing, it's 
Mm. It's always rough just cold DMing people when you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. after a while, like, this is fun. I love shooting with people I know, but now I want to shoot with like people that are legit, right? That are like, yeah, yeah. That just take the photos to a new level. And so she's yeah, someone yeah. I, I'm also, I think is really cool. That's yeah, cool, yeah. man. So then to to circle back to like your Instagram then, um, because you're very intentional, right? With like how you set up your shots and who you're trying to work with. Yeah. So on your Instagram, you have this like alternating like portrait white frame to like landscape white frame back mm. and forth. What's yeah. the the uh, the main reason the main reason is to have a nice aesthetic feed. Mm -hmm. uh, another reason is to to stop doing the standard portrait style and try to mm -hmm. make a portrait with the landscape, which I think is a little bit more difficult to do. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm trying like the next one, like I always dread the next one, the man, the horizontal one. Really? <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> sometimes I don't have I don't have a photo for that, so like I have to get a photo and yeah. I'll take a photo or like just look around for my photos and like crop in or something like that mm -hmm. uh but the other style is just very i think is more difficult to do or the the, the style i mean not the style the, the horizontal yeah uh, so i i try to incorporate that mm -hmm. that's cool man so who are your like inspirations then are you just coming with all this off the top of your head where do you like other people you look up to and like oh i see i like what they do i'm gonna um so i i have a ton of them Mm -hmm. uh, I obviously I can't name them off the top of my head, but like uh, for fashion wise or like the worst type of style is Marco Ibanez photo. He's a he's a strictly a uh, boudoir photographer. So uh, I follow him for boudoir type like styling and uh, not styling, mm -hmm. but like posing and whatnot. Boss Vision, the guy I just shot at the studio, his stuff is phenomenal. I love his stuff. Um, let's see, film photographers in general, um, Nico Reinhardt. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, yeah. but uh, uh, Halmi, Halmi, uh, he's in he's in Europe somewhere, mm -hmm. but he has some really nice uh, film shots, like super nice. And then uh, Ian Cano, he's actually in San Diego. Uh, okay. Yeah, he has some really nice. Uh, his style is really nice. I really dig it a lot. It's uh, it's film slash digital, and he does it in a way that makes the, the digital look like film. So it's really mm. it's really nice. I I really like his style a lot. Mm -hmm. um those are some inspirations uh like korean photographers i don't know i should say asian photographers like you coco um mm -hmm. the other side of you they have a deep mood in their photos and i really love it mm -hmm. so just name off the uh, top of my head yeah yeah the well asian right but like the korean photographers same thing like I, I i don't know if instagram is giving that to me on purpose or not but like all those guys just have like the dopest shots because like they look film yeah. like actual like, film but yeah. that's like that looks digital but like this whole vibe looks cool like this would be a cool yeah. show to watch yeah 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 my cat uh i don't think i don't know if you saw i gotta hold on oh yeah i see you cat. sorry <laughs> sorry internet <laughs> no 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 it's fine, fine yeah yeah but uh that's cool man so like you really do take like absorb a lot of creative you know you're not just producing you're really learning at the same time yeah yeah i'm all trying to yeah so then what do you have like planned for like the next, I don't know, fair question, like five years? Is that too much? One year? Uh, What's the future um, for you? <laughs> I mean, right now it's, it's still a hobby. Uh, it's, yeah. I think it will always be a hobby. Um, okay. I might take some paid jobs, but uh, I really refrain from taking paid jobs, to be honest. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. I usually, whenever ask me, whenever ask me rates on my thing, I don't know how to answer them because I mm. don't. I don't really get paid for this stuff. I just do it for, for my own uh, personal thing. So um, sometimes I don't answer. <laughs> uh. I, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I say I don't know my rates, so I can't really tell you. Yeah. Um, and they're they're usually stuff I don't want to shoot, uh, like lifestyle stuff. I get yeah. I get told to do lifestyle stuff. Uh, like it's very general stuff. Like just take go to a park and take a photo. I I don't want to waste my time with that. I'm that I maybe mean, that's being mean, but I don't want to waste my time with that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I feel like there are times where like I've like it, it's that same thing when you have control over the shoot, you can really make it like mm. artsy and like mess with the lighting, all that. And so be like, oh, can you just take a photo of me looking nice? It's like I could do that. Yes, I can. But then you show up to the shoot and like the vibes might be off. Like yeah, they might not have the direction you thought they had. You know, like, you have to do all the work. It's like I don't know, but I feel yeah, like. yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, man. Because yeah. your stuff is like I. I'm surprised to hear that but it's also like when i see yourself like oh dude i could totally see this like as ads right if you wanted to do that for them or like old school like fashion 
like magazine mm-hmm. ads like these are these are cool dude like there's this one like oh. now i'm just scrolling right just like getting hooked on the instagram um uh, but there's like mm-hmm. one you did with uh was he sammy cat and she has like the surfboard and the bike in the background yeah yeah, yeah. like that like that's so, something um, oh go ahead oh no go ahead Keep going. oh it was just that same rant of like you could take that put like an o'neill logo on top and like bam you could print that out oh, and put yeah, it in macy's yeah. or yeah. something yeah yeah i really liked her outfit and really worked with the bike because it was also red and mm-hmm. the, her tones were really like uh, with that section so i'm like all right let's go over here <laughs> just mm-hmm. take, maybe take some shots uh right here and see if it works mm-hmm. for sure so then to, to change it up to like the story around the question like if you really scroll in your in your um your instagram there's one where you have like a close-up of like a wolf spider like right there in the lens what's uh, a story wolf behind that spider. one <laughs> wolf spider which it's one like, that one? It's probably that buried. I think it's, I'm just going to let my Instagram load on my desktop. I think it's maybe one of your first photos. It's not on your portrait page. I'm a liar. Maybe it's on Spice Butter Toast. I'm going to like improvise live. Oh, 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 that, oh, that's my, per, uh, that's my uh, yeah, personal page. Yeah. For sure. Wolf Spider. Oh, so that was it. actually at, I was actually at a shoot that day. That was at a person's house. Oh shit. What uh, the hell? Yeah, that's that, scary. Yeah, that was, a, <laughs> yeah, no, that was a, one of the first uh, shoots. I did for Model Mayhem that I hit up. Mm-hmm. Um, she was actually really nice. I, I think I've, she's still around. Uh, I haven't seen her post in a while, but uh, mm-hmm. uh, she really she was really into geckos, lizards, mm-hmm. all types of animals. So we mm-hmm. shot with her lizards and geckos, and she wanted to shoot at her place. Yeah, <laughs> so we shot at her place, and like I brought a light because she showed me her place, and it was dark as hell. <laughs> so, yeah. so I'm like, and this, is, this is not a good there. situation. <laughs> yeah, so. So I bought I bought a flash just in case. I mean, I bought a flash a while ago, and I was trying to work it with my transmitter. I finally got to work, and then um, we went over there, and we there was the only the only section in the house that was really nice was with her, I think her parents' piano or grandparents' piano. So we used that as a portrait. I have it. I think I have an archive somewhere. But um, but her boyfriend was there, uh, and he collected. He did art for college humor. Which is oh, really interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Very he, specific. He, yeah. 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 He, yeah. College humor. He did like really. Uh, he painted the uh, art like figurines, like really detailed. It was really cool. So he, he was showing me all his stuff, and then um, he brought his wolf. Uh, he brought up all his um, or he showed me his uh, spiders, and happened to bring out his wolf spider. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I might as well take a photo of this. So I, cause I, yeah, because I'm never gonna get a chance to do so I'm like, fuck it, I just, I just did it. But it, that's it a trip cool. yeah 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 the photo actually came out pretty nice to be honest uh i don't know why our code is but whatever <laughs> yeah because like you see them like that it's like up close to like even as a regular spider like i'm chilled spiders but sometimes you see those like damn if that thing jumps on me i'm gonna react yeah <laughs> yeah no, it was actually pretty small it was actually pretty small <laughs> for sure um so generally like when i bring people on um, i'll probably ask a question in a, in a bit about like mm-hmm. advice for like other photographers but being someone that's shot with a lot of people like do you have advice or is there any tips you could get from like for models that are trying to get into modeling or like work with the photographer I feel like so like some of you show up to shoot and some people are just like i want to look um, good advice for models um maybe look up posing wise instead of having I mean, it's good to have both feedback from a model and, I mean, uh, posing from a model and a photographer um, because a photographer most of the time does not know that many poses. So, so it's good to come in. Yeah, it, yeah, we we know the basic ones, right? We know this, 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 and like the lean on the wall or whatever. Um, but it's good to, <laughs> yeah, it's good to like, to like, to know your, uh, I would say know your own body and know your angles a little bit better. Um, know where to put your feet or whatever, know where to put your hands. The, the, the worst part is when knowing to put your hands. Oh, everybody always pockets, asks me, what, put them yeah, away. Yeah, what is, <laughs> yeah uh, I always tell them, yeah, I always tell them, create an angle somehow, like put it to the side, create an elbow angle or something like that. Um, yeah, just know your angles. Uh, definitely vet the photographer. I don't know if you, mm, yeah, okay. yeah, vet the photographer. If you're getting into modeling, vet the photographer. No matter what, just ask ask another model um, about him, or ask multiple models actually, uh, because I know there's like 2020. There was like a ton of photographers that got outed for yeah, sexual that, assault. Yeah, there was a ton. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, so I know some that are suspect, 
that I know of. Um, so whenever someone asks me, I try to look at them up, or I tell them to immediately don't shoot with them. It's just not worth it. You're just right, like, hey, trust me. Don't yeah. do it. Yeah, I just, I just tell them straight up, don't do it. <laughs> yeah. There was um, a shoot I was doing, because then, like, I'm good with people live and everything, but I always have, like, this anxiety of, like, I'm going to come off creepy. And there was uh-huh. a person I shot with, and she was giving me the whole rundown. She's like, trust me, like, women know. Like, if, if you know within, like, the first 30 seconds what's up with this photographer, and then you get the vibe, yeah. you know I'm out of here in five minutes, ten minutes. Oh, I have something yeah. came up. And it's like, okay, cool. But it's, like, same yeah. thing, like, there are a lot of people I, like, would shadow or just, like, go shoot with. And I'm like, dog, like, you're making me uncomfortable. Like, I don't want to be here. Like... <laughs> But, yeah. yeah that's good advice yeah no, that makes a lot of sense yeah yeah um well then kind of like hard left like i know i've been asking a lot about like style and like gear and all mm-hmm. well i haven't asked about gear yet that's what i want to ask about um oh okay you, you said your first camera was like the a6 which one was your first a6, camera again a6, a6 300 sony for sure do you still shoot with sony have you like yeah uh, uh, the can inside to- no, no. Um, <laughs> so Canon, Canon. Uh, everybody tells me Canon colors are like crazy good, uh, which I do agree. They they look pretty good straight out of camera. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have the A seven or three right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, the thing I notice about Sony is uh, you have to work with the color a lot more, in but okay. they give you more of a raw photo if that makes any sense. Um, okay. Yeah. I. Well, I think I know what you're. I think I understand. But go ahead. Yeah, that, that's, that's the only way I describe it. Like, when you get the photo, it's like, huh. <laughs> you start, like, editing it. But um, Like, everything uh, feels, like, desaturated, but it's not saturated? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah it, okay. it feels desaturated, yeah. So you got to resaturate it again. Um, Which is... That's what I learned. Yeah. Like, I think, yeah. I Like, okay, I shoot an icon, right? And same, like, sometimes the photos yeah. come out really nice, but then once mm-hmm. they translate into Lightroom develop... Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Then they get like super dark and harsh, and it's like, okay, how do I? Yeah, yeah. How do I pull I, it out? Then the saturation goes. It's like, ah, this is why people yeah. pay us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, do you shoot all your stuff with like a thirty-five? Where you? Um, so I've been mixing it up recently. Um, I have, I don't know. I bought this a while ago. I bought the one hundred five millimeter. It's nice. a huge lens. So, yeah. Uh, I just. I just don't like using it because it's fucking heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally a, uh, it's a, it's literally a brick. It's You're holding a brick. it. It's yeah. A, it, yeah. It's a prime lens. Um, so it's big. Um, I've been using that more. I got some good, really good shots with Jessica this past weekend where uh, mm. we did some swim shoots. Um, it's really different vibe from the 35, way different vibe. The separation is ridiculous on that camera. Mm-hmm. So I've been trying to incorporate it a lot more. Um, I also have the 16 to 35 for street shots and a 50 millimeter for a little bit closer, um, a little closer to kind of like a telephoto, but not really, um, yeah. but like, like, yeah, just a closer, tighter portrait that I would use for it. Do you, because you, you're doing like a lot of people stuff, like the 105 makes a lot of sense, right? For that separation. Yeah. Um, do yeah. you ever see yourself going down that route of getting like the, the 24 to 70 and like that becomes the lens? Yeah, actually, uh, I've been thinking about the 24 to 70. Um, it's just, I don't know if I want to put that money down. Yeah. <laughs> it is a lot of money. The Sony Sony, Sony lenses are ridiculously priced. So I will be spending like $2,300. And uh, I don't know if I want to pay that right now. <laughs> so uh, I'd rather switch lenses like constantly. Um, but uh, yeah, that's one of the lenses I really want to get. The 24 to 70. Also the 70 to 200 as well. But, and maybe a macro lens for like you know those wolf i have this what no not the wolf spiders, <laughs> but this, this is one style i saw on pinterest that i really like it's like it's just photographing the body parts of the person so like the eyeball ear the head i don't know it's it, i found it really interesting and uh i found someone who wanted to do it with me, so i might get a macro lens oh for sure okay no i like super up close to the eyeball like something you see like in like a, a uh not not too chemistry. close but like so I'll do like super close, like on some shots, and then uh, other ones will be a little, little, little less. So the crop will just be the eyeball. It's on Pinterest somewhere. I, I can actually show you, but uh, uh, maybe I'll show you another time. <laughs> yeah, no worries, man. It's uh, cause there, there are people like um, there's a rice boss, which is like a Hawaii photographer, uh, Wally IV, who I don't know is in San Diego or Florida. He tags both, but like mm. 
they do that thing. I don't it's probably a lot more farther back, but it's like they'll shoot like bikini shots, but they have like a close up of like the arm and you just look at the water or mm. like just a bikini, yeah, yeah. but like you see the texture, it's like, oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. But, is, is that what you're trying to do? But like, what you're saying is no, no, more no. like, I, yeah. It's, it's kind of like, uh, <laughs> kind of abstract. Yeah, kind of abstract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's a good word <laughs> for it. But uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, I think that's, I don't know. I don't know what the question was. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it was originally like what gear to use and somehow we just ran down that rabbit hole. Ran down to that, yeah, I ran down that <laughs> For sure, man. Well, hey, I know we're nearing time, uh, so I just wanted mm -hmm. to get one last question in. Um, mm -hmm. So, like I said, you've been shooting since 2017, is that what you said? That when, like, you really got started? Uh, yeah, with landscapes, and then I switched over six months to portraits. Nice. Yeah, so in, in four years, you I feel like, in terms of, like, quality, you probably, like, skyrocketed. So, I mean, like, from that, what's something, like, an advice you would give to like, a photographer just trying to pick up a camera for the first time? on their own um, and I want to get into like the same type of work. Um, if they're picking it up, um, I would say don't follow port pop portraits. That's something mm. I should not have done uh, okay. as, a, as I started. Yeah, don't emphasize too much on skin editing. Um, don't follow people who pop colors like insanely. Uh, it doesn't really help you in the end at all. <laughs> to be honest uh, follow i would say follow fashion photographers and follow film photographers and mm -hmm. follow well, we'll follow people who do very simple portraits but do them really well um yeah there's some people who do a little bit too much and it, it's not good for her i don't think it's very good for photography to be honest yeah. portrait photography anyway yeah sure uh, and you could do everything with a standard kit lens or standard standard body anyway you don't have to get the high end stuff. Um, if you can work with uh, the T, Rebel TI2, T2I, or whatever, and then you'll be exponentially better <laughs> with a better when you find upgrade. So, yeah. yeah, when you find an upgrade, you'll be like 10 times better or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, detail wise, and well, what you can do with it. Mm -hmm. For sure. Cool, man. Well, hey, I appreciate you taking the time to chat with me today. Where can people follow mm -hmm. your work? Um, you're mm -hmm. soon to be up close body pics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Close. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> oh, was, where can people follow follow you and learn more about you? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, uh, they can follow me on Instagram at uh, Pete Pete Nguyen. It's uh, P E P E N G Y N. Cool. Well, thanks so much, Pete. I will go ahead and give you back your day, and I will talk to you soon. All right. I'll see you later, man. Peace, brother. Thank you. See you, man. See you. Bye.